As we close in on, we'll close in on the second year of the pandemic, a total of 3.5 million Texans have contracted COVID-19, and many of these people are still dealing with stubborn after effects of the virus. Our Shondell Manise has a closer look at these lingering symptoms. COVID-19 has many possible symptoms, a common one being losing your sense of taste or smell. A less common one affects about 10% of people who have had COVID, according to a June Wiley study. It's called parosmia. I've sort of had to relearn what things smell like. It wasn't until after I got better that things just went south. Parosmia is a smell disorder that distorts odors. It can make things you once loved smell and taste like sewage, garbage, gasoline, mold or ammonia, just to name a few. Franklin Jones's smell and taste has been off for nearly a year now after getting COVID-19 in January. Going out to restaurants with friends is, is, is pointless because you Number one, you get knocked down by the smell when you walk in. It's guttural. It makes you gag. Angela Johnson got COVID in late December. She's still trying to recover her senses. Um, a lot of things smelled like raw or rotting meat. To be more specific. <laughs> uh, Rotted meat on top of a burning tire inside of a old salon where women were getting perms. Very Well Health's chief medical officer, Dr. Jessica Shepard, says it all starts in the olfactory system. Now the million dollar question is, how do you get rid of parosmia? This is something that everyone would wish that they could have is what they can avoid during getting an infection. But with COVID-19, there really isn't a respecter of what actual symptom you're going to get. If these symptoms sound familiar to you, she recommends seeing an ear, nose and throat specialist who could identify the severity of your case. And if there are any treatments to help you restore your sense of smell and taste. We've got you covered East Texas. Shondell Moniz, CBS 19. All right, thank you, Shondell. And to keep from getting the virus or ruling out life-threatening symptoms, health officials recommend getting vaccinated.